Farms. It's a group farm holding. Mm -hmm. We're located at Epe in Lagos State and uh, some parts of the north. Um, I'm here in IITA specifically because of uh, vine yam development. And uh, I'm very impressed. I can say that I'm very, very impressed about how far IITA has taken uh, this novel technology to uh, ensure that we are able to multiply uh, both food and for, for eating and for enterprise. Uh, this is very interesting and I intend for my company to be able to translate this idea to our people in the catchment area where I operate and also in other parts of Nigeria so that we can nourish Africa in a big way. You know, in the past, we've been touting hydroponics, all of that, and, but the aeroponic technology was a bit uh, amazing to me. And seeing, and then more importantly also, in the entire exercise, both over there and on the field here, seeing that you could achieve very many nodes in one plant so that you can multiply seeds for farmers and for, for direct cropping. Secondly, the uh, density of plant population here on this demonstration farm, on this physical farm, is very, very impressive. And this is why I think your slogan about uh, uh, you know, making people rich quickly it can, you know, be really seen to be true because uh, I've seen it now practically that it is possible to have few hectares and then be able to, you know, produce huge products of the yam out of it. I was one of those that used to be worried when researchers do a lot of work and both government and the farmers allow research results to lie on the shelf. I think that farmers need to arrange a systematic way of interfacing with research organizations like IITA so that uh, this mission to uh, produce for Africa to feed itself and maintain strategic food reserves will be a reality system for yam rapid multiplication is fantastic. Novel ideas like this will surely accelerate the drive to nourish Africa through dedicated research. IT stops. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you sir.